Hey, hey, yo, how are you? I'm in front of this house in Waterford Court. This house still looks like crap. Six months ago, I made a video about it, how bad it looks. Obviously, it's a bank-owned home, but look, look at how disgusting this whole place looks. We can't clean this up with our in-house uh, pressure cleaner guy. It's 134 Waterford Court or Palm Beach Plantations Estate, whatever the road is over here. But all the homeowners have to look at this over the holidays. The moldy driveways, the moldy sidewalks. Check out this place, huh? Check out how moldy and disgusting this place is. As a homeowners association, we're entitled to come out here and clean this property, you know. But for some reason, we let this thing go. We can also put mulch. We can also put mulch in this in this bed here. But does the HOA do that? No. The HOA would much rather send us violations for not putting mulch in our yards, but they can't take care of this property. We got more than enough money in our reserves. We got almost $2 million in reserves. We can't take care of this property, clean it up. That's what part of all, that's what being a homeowners association is all about. Look at the moldy roof. That roof hasn't been cleaned in years. So, moldy roof, moldy driveway. This sidewalk needs to be cleaned. It's the holidays and they and HOA can't even clean the sidewalks, but yet they send out violations to people who haven't put mulch in their in their flower beds. But they can't take care of a house that's neglected, that's bank owned. We're allowed to come out here and take care of this. More hypocrisy at its finest. Good going, board. And there's a guy that on the street who's on the art committee. His name is Russ, who looks like Duck Dynasty, who walks by this house two or three times a day. He knows exactly what needs to be done, but it doesn't get done. This place is unbelievable. I'd hate to be living next door to this house. Yo.